Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. And uh, today has some really good properties, some very interesting stuff that we just don't see every day. And I think you're really gonna like it. So we're gonna start off with this one on Dairy Road. You do see these every once in a while. I really like the floor plan here. I don't like the $90 fee that you pay extra. And the unfortunate part is the builder didn't tell anybody about this fee at the time when they were being built, but it's a big open concept kitchen. And you've got three bedrooms upstairs too. Um, you know, I would say that uh, the highest sale ever in this little complex is in, in the mid 380s. So, you know, being that it is there, usually the stuff on the green space gets you a bit of a premium. We'll see what happens. They do tend to sell pretty well. Bustle Crescent is 424, 1850 square feet. It's a very open concept main floor. I would have preferred probably if they hadn't just taken this wall out, but I get that maybe it creates a little bit of separation. You are backing onto the train track. So you do have that larger lot, 127 feet. Uh, but when you look at the, uh, the yard here, it kind of slopes up to the berm and then there's train tracks behind. It's a lot more aggressively priced than some of the other listings that have been there. So I don't think it'll last that long. Hood Terrace is 539. It's a Thistle Bay. It's 2237 square feet, separate living dining. So there's your living. You can you can kind of have that completely separate from everything else. Uh, there are parts of Hood Terrace that can, you know, be close to Dairy Road. There's some that back onto the gas station. So you definitely want to be careful of location on Hood. It could be fine. I didn't have a chance to check before I did the video. Uh, so anyway, so the location specific, you just want to be careful. It looks like it backs onto their homes, which is good. Um, price seems very much in line with what else there is selling especially in that uh the size range Liederman is 548 double car garage but it's only 1638 square feet they've done a very good job inside uh these models have crept up not quite this high but they have sold for a good amount if they have lots of features and upgrades there's no finished basement here they've done just about everything you could do in a home like this it's the three bedroom with the loft upstairs and this picture, it's funny, I don't know if this occurred to you, but the first thought in my mind was that scene from Scarface. You're going to have her. I go away, I'm going to disappear, Tony. You'll never see me again, Tony. Please, I don't want to die. I never did nothing to nobody. I never... No, 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 you never did nothing to no, nobody. That's right. You had somebody else do it for no, you. Tony, come on, I'm begging you. Get out! Jesus! Get out! No! Oh, my God! <laughs> So we, we won't say this home is polluted, man, but it's, uh, it is a very good listing. Uh, I just, I'm concerned that maybe buyers might not see the value at this price because there's even stuff that just for a little bit more, you're talking about much more square footage, uh, but it's got good upgrades. So Birch is 599, a little bit high for the area. I mean, we're talking Dorset Park here. There's not, there's very few that sell even over 500. There's a lot of good stuff at 450, 460, 470. Um, it is 134 foot deep lot. Well, let's see what happens with it. I have a feeling they're they're probably just going to sit there for a little bit longer. Uh, I think they were up in the sixes at one point. Savoline is 600,000. It's a Royal Fern, very nicely upgraded inside. And uh, so it's 2047 square feet. Um, and then they have a finished basement too. So that could help them. I mean, last year, there haven't been a lot of Royal Ferns lately, but last year there were a few that sold up in the 560, 570 range. And same kind of thing, you start hitting 600 and you definitely have bigger homes. Staggered car garage allows for a more open concept main floor, but you lose a driveway space, especially if you have the sidewalk there. Okay, so next one up is Lancaster 639. Uh, it's 2,600 square feet, Sunderland model. You've got a porch on the main floor and then you also have the second floor balcony. And I think why they do it is because the siding is a little less desirable, especially yellow siding is very tough. I sold one with yellow siding years ago and a lot of negative feedback about it. Uh, but they put the balcony up there to kind of make it a little bit more palatable. A lot of builders do that. The vinyl version tends to have a bit of a balcony. It's a great floor plan. It's really nice. The street is fantastic and you have green space behind. So the finishes are a little bit older inside here, but I think that the substance, the style, the location, 
where it is I think are all working to its benefit and you can change stuff inside you can paint cabinets you can get rid of counters relatively inexpensively you can change light hardwood to dark the stairs is a little trickier but the rest of the floors are, are pretty much fair game uh, I saw this one on Forbes this morning it just came out and so we're looking at about I think it's around 2600 square feet awesome floor plan they've got some hand scraped hardwood they've they've got some nice features in here uh the only thing is like the paint it looks like ray charles painted this house i mean it's just uh, some of the the fine details in this home which are not hard to fix uh are are not done well but they've they've spent the money in upgrades they've got good floors upstairs the tray ceiling that heathwood's known for upgraded counters in the bathroom so when you add all that stuff up finished basement here you've got a good sized yard in the back the deck you've got a little tiki bar here um, there's a shed over on the other side there's a lot of nice features here this street I think is very impressive the homes on this street you can definitely tell you're in a, a premium neighborhood I laughed when I heard somebody recently say this is kind of the Beverly Hills of Milton <laughs> I mean it's just Milton doesn't have a Beverly Hills but I, this is definitely one of the finest streets in town there's no doubt about it uh, so let's see what happens with it given lane I think is is gonna be the the I don't know if you want to call it Rodeo Drive but this is gonna be a real premium street there are big homes on big Big lots on this street um, it's the old main street really so you've got a park that's that's uh, you can already see it it's almost built um, you know there are gonna be huge homes on this street it's gonna be a very desirable place to live it's on town water it's really close to town there's a ton of living space in this home and uh, you've got your pool not a lot of comparable sales on this one but I think 937 like I think one day this street is you can't even touch it for less than a million dollars which is uh, it's gonna be a very positive thing so you know do do the research or get a good agent to uh, to do the research for you but I really really love that street big time so Jasper's 399 detached home what's the catch well guess what you're really close to train tracks and when we talk about the one on bustle with the sloping berm uh, this one has zero like sound barrier or anything like that it's it's open you can see the train it's very close to the house uh, you do have a good walking location and you are a detached home for 400,000 so there is a bit of a trade-off I think this one's a pretty good deal on farmstead it's about 1500 square feet the uh, the, the maintenance fee it's a freehold house but it's attached to a road which is a condo so you have it's called parcel of tideland we talk about them in Milton daily homes but you know 15 1600 square feet it's got a, a nice floor plan here uh, they have spent a bit of money in the basement too so even without that that's kind of bonus that gets you started if you ever did want to finish it uh, I like it I mean we've seen homes sell for more than this in this complex even in the last six months Scott is very similar to the old Lindsay model. It's called a Greensburg. It's about 1,800 square feet. There's no photos here. 524 seems a little bit ambitious. Um, it sounds nice inside when you read the description, but no finished basement. It's a little bit on the high side. The girls were uh, at the office here because they kind of put these properties together and then I talk about it. Um, I suppose you could say I just kind of hop in like Regis after they're done doing all the real grunt work and uh, anyway the uh, it's it's really nice now pine can be funny because depending on where it is on pine it can certainly affect um, the value a little deeper in you start getting some uh, some nice properties a little closer to Ontario you know maybe not as nice but what a house awesome stuff there's no garage if you want to punch holes in it but it's got a beautiful sized lot it's very comparable comparable to what else is sold and there hasn't been many homes in old Milton that have listed recently so there might be a bit of a pent-up demand these foundation walls were built in a time before World War II that really you nobody lived in basements so we always call them cellars and so be cautious and just know that if you're building anything down here there's a good chance that eventually there could be issues with leakage not because there's anything wrong obviously you can help with your grading on the outside uh, to mitigate things like that but they just that's the nature of those basements um, 
nice stuff here. Look at that nice big lot. Um, I don't even know if you could do a detached garage, maybe have an extended driveway back here. That's something you'd want to check with the town, but very cool house. Uh, you also run into heritage designations and historical society and all the rest of it. So those are other lenses through which you want to look through that home. But I love it. I like where the price is too. Willet is, actually let's go back here. Willet is um, about probably tw a little over 2,500 square feet. I think it's 2,540. And, you know, the kitchen looks good. The crown moldings, they've upgraded the countertops, pot lights. The lighter floors can be a bit of a turnoff for some buyers. And you're dealing with the staggered garage that we talked about on the Royal Fern that, uh, that you lose the driveway space, but you gain it on the inside. You really see the difference on this one here, plus the finished basement. So cosmetically may not be everyone's taste, but I would say that uh, this one has a lot of value. We've seen this home without a finished basement sell around the 630, 640 range. Uh, big fan of this one on homes backing onto the green space. You've got a good size lot here. Um, very open layout. You've got dark hardwood floors here. Now the family room is set up more like a California style. So they tiled that whole space in the back. Maybe not to everybody's taste, but you've got big bedrooms upstairs, 3000 square feet, plus the green space for 679 to me is a very solid deal. And uh, I, I'm excited about that one too. Then we've got this one on Huntingford and it's a Sheffield model. If you type in on Google uh, he Heathwood Sheffield, you'll find the floor plans. Um, resembles a few of the Madame homes uh, in terms of the layout, but great finishes. Heathwood has a premium. The thing is there's a pool in the back. Uh, you've got a finished basement. So you figure this size of home easily is low sevens just based on size, you know, 3,200 square feet. Add the finished basement in, you've got a good premium for the Heathwood area, uh, the same as we talked about with Forbes, and then you throw a pool on top of that. And they may be leaning a little bit on the high side of 894, but I don't think they're that far off on this one. There's a lot of value here. And uh, even comparing to what else is in the price range, there's not a whole lot between eight and nine right now. And uh, we've got the one on Reese Court that's also very impressive, but this one has a lot to offer and I think they're going to do pretty well. So that's the uh, list for today. We've got 16 properties and I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely give us a call if you wanna see any of this stuff. This is not run of the mill uh, Milton Daily Homes list. There's a lot of really neat uh, properties that we don't see every day. So take care and we'll see you tomorrow. You finished? Can I go now?